Hello, warriors. All right, I'm recording like this because I'm standing in my kitchen. I just went grocery shopping. As I mentioned earlier, we're doing an episode on portion distortion. I'm about to unbag my groceries and show you everything I bought for $89. All this is gonna last me for the next week and a half. I'm gonna show you how. Okay, so I've unbagged everything. We're going to take a look at what's inside, what I got, so. Okay, this is the most processed that I ever honestly really buy. Salsa, every now and then we make these into French toast. They're great as a snack. They're probably literally the worst thing that I buy. I love these chips. And the second worst thing that I buy, which really isn't bad at all. And holy cow, if you have children, feed them this. It's so tasty. Because I do have a blue zone diet, I do eat a little bit of pork, bacon, or sausage now and then, and I do eat eggs. I do not eat dairy ever. One more other very processed thing that I get, another company that I absolutely love. All the produce. Including the watermelon. This back here, this is what's left for the remainder of the weekend up until Wednesday of next week. So, all of this is what I got for $89. So, all of that is going to last me anywhere between nine and 14 days. Anytime I buy my produce, you guys, I always, always take all my stickers off and I wash it immediately after I buy it. That way, it's already prepped and ready to go for me to do whatever I want to it afterwards. It makes it so that you have more convenience, it's less time consuming, it's easier, you're going to want to just grab and eat it. All right, here is my favorite cereal that I like to eat when I'm being lazy. Let's look here. Servings per container. Remember, this is a guideline, right? Always look for added sugars. Total sugars means any sugars that come from ingredients that are already there, not any ingredients that have been added, such as cane sugar. If that was not in there, your normal sugars would only total at six grams. Now, this is a normal size serving. This is also about the size of your stomach. Your stomach is about the size of your palm. When that is chewed up and digesting with milk, a little bit of honey, and cinnamon, that's going to be one satiating, filling meal. Trust me, it's good. Okay, so we took the grocery shopping trip and we showed what $100 worth of wholesome food looks like. We even covered how much processed food I actually buy. So now we get to go over how portions have changed over the last 20 years. 20 years ago, if you bought a cheeseburger, it was only 1.6 ounces equaling 333 calories. If you buy one today, a large hamburger equals eight ounces, which is 590 calories. That would take you 
90 minutes minimum to burn off half of that cheeseburger. And that's of weightlifting, not cardio. Cardio is not going to hit it as hard. If you wanted coffee 20 years ago with whole milk and sugar, eight ounces was 45 calories. Today, you order a coffee, most likely you're gonna probably order yourself a mocha or something along those lines. You're getting a 16 ounce coffee with 350 calories. French fries used to be 2.4 ounces, equaling 210 calories. They are now 6.9 ounces at 610 calories. So if you're eating out, you may be saving money until all of this adds up along your waistline and then you end up in the hospital for diabetes, obesity, heart failure, liver failure, kidney failure, digestive problems. The doctor is going to equal more than spending $100 at the grocery store every week and a half to two weeks to have wholesome food, raw foods, fruits, vegetables, right? So when we talk about a portion size, we're talking about the amount of food that you actually choose to eat for a meal or a snack. That size can be big or small. A serving is an actual measured amount of a food or a drink. So that's something like one slice of bread or eight ounces of milk equals one cup of milk, right? If you do a lot of single serving things because you're on the go a lot, uh, which I tend to find happens to a lot of us, a lot of those single servings, if you look on your nutrition panel, you will find that they're not a single serving. They are multiple servings, especially when it comes to bags of chips. Most of the time you'll find two to three servings in a single serving bag of chips. So what can you do to combat portion distortion? If you are eating out, if you're eating alone, ask for a second plate. It's okay. Move half of your meal to the other plate and push it aside for now. Finish your meal and before you even touch the other half, ask yourself if you're truly still hungry or if that would make a better meal, a leftover lunch for your stressful day at work the next day. If you're eating out with a friend, your spouse, your significant other, you guys can split a meal. If you don't wanna split a meal because you don't feel like eating the same thing, that's okay. Ask your server to box up half of your meal and set it aside and bring it back to you when they're ready to give you the check. This will keep you from overeating and then you can take it home for leftovers later. What a fantastic lunch the next day. Mindful eating. This is one of my most favorite things to do. Mindful eating is when you sit down to actually enjoy your food. Put your fork or your spoon down in between bites. Take 25 chews before you swallow. This will help with digestion. It helps break everything down so that you absorb more nutrients all the way along the esophagus. By the way, your stomach is here, not down here, here. A lot of people think that your stomach is here. This is your abdomen. Your stomach is up here and it's only about the size of your palm. So if you're eating something that is the size of your hand or your head, think about how much food you are putting in your stomach and how wide you're expanding that thing right? If you're at home and you're trying to combat portion distortion more at home because you don't eat out a lot, try to downsize the plate that you eat on. Instead of eating on a normal entree or dinner sized plate, eat on a smaller salad plate. Your eyes are always bigger than your stomach. You're going to look at something and go, oh, I can eat all of that. And halfway to three quarters through, 
you're gonna push through the rest because you're gonna go, I'm really full, but the tastes really, really good. Don't do that. Added calories equals an added waistline if you're not expending those calories throughout the day. Calories literally means energy. If you're cooking, take out the portion size that you wanna eat right then and save the rest and put it in your fridge for later, right? This will help with meal prep, make it a little easier. Sometimes I cut up all my fruits and veggies before I even start to cook. That way, when I'm ready to cook, I can just grab the amounts that I know that I need and toss them in the pan or toss them together and I'm ready to go. Another mindful, mindful eating trick is to focus on your food. Make sure that you're not watching TV or have your phone in front of your face, right? Sit, relax, enjoy your food, appreciate where it came from, taste it. Distractions cause overeating. They're not a good thing. They also cause under mastication of your food. If you're not chewing your food properly and to the fullest extent that you need to, you won't digest it properly either. So keep those few things in mind when you're eating at home. If you're trying to do portion distortion, combating, wherever that you are, just remember to keep your plate balanced. So an ideal meal is half veggies, one quarter lean protein, and then one quarter carbohydrates. When they say carbohydrates, they are talking about complex, most vegetables and fruits are simple carbohydrates, very easy for the body to break down, very quick energy expended. Carbohydrates means whole grains, including the shell, rices, brown rices, long grain, wild rice, beans, different types of beans, black beans, pinto beans, kidney beans, butter beans, they're talking about different potatoes. Try to stay away from brown russet potatoes. The minute that they mix with your saliva, they break down and turn into sugar. All other potatoes are higher in vitamins and natural sugars, especially sweet potatoes. They provide longer extensive energy, which is why you only need a smaller amount of them. Another thing you can do is to use your hand as a guide for your sizing. Each portion, each serving of everything should be about the size of your hand. So next time you go out to eat or go grocery shopping, keep in mind when you start cooking or start eating these few tips to help keep that waistline where you want it. I'll see you guys on the next talk. Have a wonderful week.